Hi guys, so this is part two of our Q&A. When we first filmed it, we didn't know that we were gonna split it into two parts, but we decided to have the first part be more personal relationship questions. This is going to be the fitness Q&A. And so, Enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. How do you get your significant other to get into the healthy lifestyle? With living together, it can be hard to eat healthy when all he wants to do is eat junk. Plus, he doesn't enjoy going to the gym, which makes me sad, lol. It's a really good question because you cannot make someone else start to eat healthy or work out or just start this whole healthy lifestyle thing unless they want to. True. You can't force someone else to do it. I tried with you. Yeah, no, he, so that's yeah, what I was gonna say. So Luca is the reason like, why I did finally take the, that plunge and I started taking care of myself but his angle was that it was always out of love. It's always for right. my health and for taking care sure. of myself. It was never, never because he said that I like looked bad no, or anything ever, like ever. that. When we were living in San Diego, I was trying to tell Anna, hey, you need to take care of yourself. You know, we should go to the gym together. And I was like, uh-uh. Uh, no, no, she wasn't ready. Like, yeah. It was never, never ever about how she looked. And I was really concerned about it. Happen. But I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't ready. She just yeah. wasn't ready. I wasn't that. ready. I wasn't in the right mindset. I wasn't in the right place. And you know, there's an argument to be made over it's never the right time. You're never in the right place. Right. That is true to a point. But I still myself had to come to terms with the fact that like I need to start taking care of myself. It's the mental switch that needs to happen. And you can't force that on someone else. So what you can do is lead by example. Show them that what you're doing, like you don't even have to say it, you know, or maybe passively being like, I feel so great. Like I got my workout in, I feel so good. I have so much energy. I slept so well, or I feel so great because I've been eating healthy. And it doesn't need to be directed at them. It also doesn't need to be such an intentional comment. Just talk about how great you feel. Talk about the benefits, the physical and the non-physical benefits of taking care of yourself and just hope that they pick up on that. And right. I think that's all that you really can do. Yeah, I agree. I would just focus on how your partner feels. You know, after yeah. eating, you know, healthier and healthier and healthier. That's, that's what I would do. Yeah, highlight the, yeah. the changes that they might not be able to recognize because yeah. they're so new to the journey. You know, and little things like instead of ordering out, ordering Uber Eats, try making a meal at home. By the way, it, it takes a few minutes to cook a meal at home. People yeah. like make such a big deal. I don't want to cook. I don't want to know. It takes too long. Too long, actually, it doesn't take long at all. Like, yeah. you know, to prepare a healthy meal, because it's a healthy meal, it's usually pretty simple. Yeah. There's nothing complex behind a healthy meal. And as long as you meal prep. You if know. you meal prep, it, re yeah. it really takes two minutes to put together a healthy meal. And then yeah. I think aside from that, if your partner does start to get into eating healthy and working out, just let them know that you're going to be there to support them yes. and to keep them accountable. And that means getting tough with each other and saying like, there are times that he's like, I oh, yeah. don't want to go to the gym and I tell him, too bad, suck it up. <laughs> We're going. Here's your pre-workout. I will literally pour pre-workout down his throat and be like, yeah. you're going to the gym. The point of no return is after you take pre-workout. Like but no one does, is motivated. No, he does the same to me. Time. We, It's kind of like a, a game of tug of war because sometimes I'm that person that I'm like, no, I don't want to go and he pulls me. And then other times when he doesn't want to go, I'm pulling him. And so I think it's important yes. in your relationship to be able to do that for each yes. other. I would never snap at him or yell at him for getting me to the gym. I just have to know like, oh, he's doing it for my own good. This is actually what I want for the long term. Maybe not in the moment, yeah. but it, it is what I want. And so you you have to be open to True. listening. Yes, so. because no one is motivated All every day of the year. No one. Is Luca still upset about not having Domino's last Sunday? <laughs> No, obviously not. Afterwards, I was happy that she closed Yeah, guys, the, some people got menu. really mad at me. And know. it's that whole thing about that game of tug of war. Right, you know, yeah. it was a moment where he was wanting to give in and I was like, no, we just had a cheat meal. Exactly. It's not like we didn't have a cheat meal the night before. We just pigged out and we enjoyed it thoroughly. Right, 100%. And he wanted to keep that train going. And I was like, uh-uh, yeah, no. That's, you know, it's how you 
we keep each other accountable. I think it yeah. was it was great. And I can always have Domino's next sheet meal. Yeah. Which I did, by the way. He did. And it was awesome. <laughs> it wasn't. I had it too. I really liked it. He really liked it. And like the Italian I liked like Domino's. It, yeah. If there's a festive celebration that involves food and heavy meals at home or at a friend's place, mm. how do you restrain yourself from overeating in this and at the same time? not making the host feel insulted by not eating whatever they cook. You don't restrain yourself. Don't restrain yourself. <laughs> eat. Yeah, enjoy yeah. yourself. This is the thing about like holidays yeah. and special events. If you're eating healthy all year round, you can eat and go crazy on Thanksgiving and it's not going to do anything to your body. Anything. It's actually probably going to be good for you. Yeah. It's just where if you are in a constant cycle of ups and downs and yo-yoing, that is right. where holidays and traveling and those one-off dinners can kind of terrorize you because you're like, oh, I'm still just getting a hold of this healthy eating thing. I don't want to indulge. So, I mean, I guess it just kind of depends on where you're at in your journey. But if you have a hold on eating healthy all year round, there's absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying a meal to your heart's content at a friend's house. Right. Yep. When you buy groceries, do you go for low sugar, low calories, or low anything? Do you stick to the same groceries each time or switch it up? I'm gonna let Luca handle uh, this We one. stick to the same groceries pretty much yeah. every time. And just because we know what we like, we know what we want, we know our macros, so even portions and you know, the specific items that we buy, they're pretty much the same every time. We might obviously switch it up every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we definitely go like, uh, organic the least yeah. processed items that we can find that's most we don't look at calories actually never no. uh it you know we don't look at because if you're eating healthy food the calories that's not what's the concern you know yeah. for us the main concern is how whole and fresh the item right. is and so the same goes for it being high or low in fat there's good fats if you're eating healthy foods and there's fats it's going to be good healthy fats right. You still need to eat fats in moderation, but still, we never look at calories really. And we do check our macros, so like on a day to day, we do pay attention to our calories and our macros and a balanced macro ratio, but we don't pick we foods, don't pick uh, foods based, based on of calories. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sugar is a different story. We do keep an eye on yeah, the sugar true. content of granola. Yeah, granola, for sure. Every once in a while, we will try to find a, a good protein bar that we can we can eat on, on the go. And seriously, mm -hmm. most protein bars out there are candy They're bars. They're candy so bars. There, are more, like, there is more sugar than protein. Yeah, we do look at sugar. My general recommendation is 10 to 15 grams of sugar per 100 grams of the product. So labels can be tricky because it'll only yeah. show you the serving size or the nutrition facts for 30 grams right. of a product. And it'll say like 15 grams sugar, but only for 30 grams of the product. And so if you think, okay, 10 to 15 grams of sugar, it says 15, I'm good. Not really because you have to multiply that by three because it said, you know, 33 to be exact because it said 15 grams for 30 grams of the product that's actually 45 grams of sugar. Are you both morning people? As I always see your Insta live off to the gym, but no Luca. He's always there. <laughs> I'm always there. I would say 85% of the time he's there, yeah. But are you a morning person? More than you. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually is true. I really, really need robot mode and he doesn't as much. No, I actually like waking up early yeah. in the morning. You know? <laughs> Which one of, this is a good one, which one of you is the first to suggest having an extra cheat meal or skipping the gym? Uh, I mean, lately, it's been me. Yeah, yeah, I have to say that, yeah. I've really been having to keep him on track and he's yeah. the one that's been like, I, I don't wanna go to the gym, yeah. I don't wanna eat healthy. Yeah. And it's hard because I never wanna force him just because I'm doing it. I always want to be respectful of how he's feeling and if he doesn't want to go. And so there are times I'll be like, fine, don't go. I'm going to go though. I would say for the most part, when I do pull him to go, he's always happy always. afterwards. Always, so. that's true, yeah. I think it's, you know, it's we've been alternating with some periods where she's yeah. not motivated. And for me, it's this is one of the times. You know, yeah, I think it goes in waves it goes in, in like waves, yeah. months at a time. It'll yeah. be like three month chunks of yeah, when one is more or less on track. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. It's just our neighbors going home. No. Hey. Oh, good boy. 
Okay. Do you want to say hi? Yay! Oh, oh! We're good, Tony. We have a question for you. <laughs> okay, next question. Luca, how hard was it to get Anna to eat good? We heard it from her perspective, but not yours. My hubby refuses to eat good and it drives me crazy. He eats bad carbs all day and energy drinks, never works out and still looks pretty awesome. So there's <laughs> no incentive for him to work out. Unlike me, I eat bad for two days and gain five pounds. So first of all, it was hard. It was really hard. We already kind of addressed this yeah. question a little bit. If he's like, you know, already genetically gifted, then the exterior side of it won't motivate him as much. But it's more about the feeling, right? Mm -hmm. If uh, he eats uh, junk food every day or he takes energy drinks every day, then that's gonna affect him, but he doesn't know that. He doesn't know the difference between eating healthy and eating just bagels, right? So the only way is for him to try that out for a few weeks, but it doesn't take one day, it doesn't take yeah. two days, it takes a few weeks before you're actually able to feel the difference. And how different it is when you are on track with your food. It's hard because that's kind of where I was at to an extent. And yeah, the, the exterior, the physical sides are kind of like, meh, take them or leave them, you know? Correct. But it really was the health side of things and how I felt. So maybe just talk about if he ever says like, oh, I don't have any energy in a nice way, try to bring up like, well, maybe if you wanna try eating some of my meals with me, they help me feel energized, see how it makes you feel. And he needs to experience it because right. you cannot, as mentioned before, you cannot make someone start this journey unless they want to. You cannot make right. them eat healthy unless they want to or it's just gonna be really short-lived so <laughs> he looks good now if he keeps yeah. going uh, you know in that direction we catch up with him eventually so super random but do you ever take off your engagement or wedding bands <laughs> during workouts <laughs> <laughs> to protect them from getting damaged that's a really good question please uh, can you answer this question yeah i don't take mine off and, and i should because, because i lost two diamonds yes too many diamonds they were the ones that are like on the band and Luca got really mad yeah that was a fight that was a fight <laughs> so I do try to take them off now yes and yeah so you should lesson take them off learned right there. so that is it guys I hope you enjoyed our q and A. I would love to do another one so if there are any sure. questions that we did not get to or that you thought of go ahead and drop them in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>